Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Knowledge Base. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with my latest programming tutorials. Today we're going to discuss an essential topic in Java, threads. We'll explore what threads are, why multithreading is important, and how we can implement it in Java. So, let's get started. A thread is a lightweight process that allows multiple tasks to run simultaneously. In Java, we can perform multiple operations at the same time using multithreading. This helps in improving the efficiency and performance of our applications. Multithreading means executing multiple threads at the same time. For example, in a web browser, one thread handles user input while another loads images. Similarly, in gaming applications, one thread processes the game logic while another handles the graphics rendering. Why should we use multithreading? Here are some key benefits. 1. Efficient CPU utilization. Multithreading ensures that CPU resources are used optimally. 2. Faster execution. Tasks can be executed in parallel, improving performance. 3. Better resource sharing. Threads share resources efficiently, reducing memory usage. 4. Improved user experience. Applications remain responsive, even when performing background tasks. Java provides built-in support for thread creation, synchronization, inter-thread communication, thread priority management. All of these help in managing multiple threads efficiently. Every thread in Java follows a life cycle. 1. New. The thread is created but not started. 2. Runnable. The thread is ready to run but waiting for CPU allocation. 3. Running, the thread is currently executing. 4. Blocked slash waiting, the thread is waiting for resources or input. 5. Terminated, the thread has completed execution. Java provides two ways to create threads. 1. Extending the thread class. Java. Class my thread extends thread. Public void run. System.out.println. Thread is running. Public class test. Public static void main. String. Arcs. My thread t equals new my thread. t.start. 2. Implementing the runnable interface. Java. Class my runnable implements runnable. Public void run. System.out.println. Thread is running. Public class test. Public static void main. String. Args. Thread t equals new thread. New my runnable. t.start. Java provides several useful thread methods. Start. Starts the thread. Run defines the thread behavior. Sleepmas makes the thread pause for a specified time. Join waits for a thread to finish execution. Yield allows other threads to execute. Set priority int level sets thread priority. In multithreading, multiple threads can access shared resources. To prevent race conditions, Java provides the synchronize keyword. Let's look at an example. Class shared resource. Synchronized void display. 4 int i equals 1. i equals 5. i plus plus. System.out.println i. Try thread.sleep 500. Catch exception e. Threads can communicate using. Wait. Makes a thread wait. Notify. Wakes up a waiting thread. Notify all. Wakes up all waiting threads.
Instead of creating multiple individual threads, we use thread pools to manage multiple tasks efficiently. Here's an example using executor service. Let's implement threads practically by extending thread class and by implementing runnable interface. We will also implement join and sleep methods to pause the thread execution for some time. To summarize, multi-threading improves performance and resource utilization. Java provides two ways to create threads. Synchronization ensures thread safety. Thread pools help manage multiple threads efficiently. 
I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. See you in the next video. Subscribe to our channel to increase your knowledge with the knowledge base. Thank you.